Okay, in this video episode, I'm going to show you permutations on a speedboat. What do we have? We have four passengers, one, two, three, four, and there are four seats on the boat. One, two, three, four. Now, we do have a condition. One girl in particular, the girl here, insists on sitting on the port side of the boat. Which side is port? It's on your left, this side here. So she insists on sitting on one of these two seats there. So what are the total number of arrangements that that can occur? Once we work that out, then we're gonna work out what's the probability of that occurring. So first, let's work out the number of arrangements whereby she gets a seat on the left-hand side, and then we'll work out the probability. Now, we're gonna be using the formula right over here. Many of you have probably seen it before, where we have n, the number of permutations is n objects taken r at a time. In this example, it's gonna be n number of seats taken with four people at a time equals n factorial all over n minus r all factorial, where n is greater than or equal to r. In this particular instance, we have n number of seats, which is four, one, two, three, four, and we have four number of passengers, one, two, three, four. And again, as I said earlier, there's a condition, a restriction, where this girl insists on sitting on the port side of the speedboat. So let's start off with stage one, step one, and work out the total number of arrangements. So the total number of arrangements, we're gonna work with this formula right over here. So we have how many seats? We have one, two, three, four four seats, but what we want to focus on is the left-hand side. How many seats do we have on the left-hand side where this girl insists on sitting on one of these two seats? So let me just put her randomly right over there. So it's one of these two seats on the port side. So how do we work that part of the arrangement? Well, it works like this. We have how many seats? Two. So there are two seats, and we're going to pick one passenger. For those two seats. Well, what does that equal? Well, that equals on the top two factorial all over two minus one all factorial. Put the brackets and then the factorial on the outside. Make sure it's not on the inside. So what does that equal? Well, that equals on the top is still two factorial. And on the denominator, we have two minus one, which is just one factorial, which one factorial is just a one, isn't it? So altogether, it's two factorial. Now two factorial, when you expand it, is as you know, two times one, which equals two. There are two ways, two ways for that girl to sit on the port side. And it's kind of obvious when you look at the diagram, could sit one way is here, and the other way is down here. So any one of the two ways will do, but we worked it out using the formula. Now that we've worked that out, we have how many passengers left? Well, if she takes up this seat, how many seats are left? We have three seats left, three seats remaining. And how many passengers? We have three passengers for three seats. So let's work that out. So three passengers, three seats, sorry. There are three seats and we're gonna pick three passengers for all three seats. What's that going to equal? Well, that's going to equal on the top, three factorial all over three take away three factorial. Put the brackets, factorial on the outside. Okay, what does that equal? Three factorial on the top, three minus three is zero factorial. Now we know that zero factorial is equivalent to what? That's equivalent to one, isn't it? You can try it on your calculator, zero factorial equals one. So that equals three factorial by, by itself. So that's three times two times one, which equals the total number of ways and arrangements that three passengers can be allocated three seats equals three times two times one, three twos are six. So there are six ways. So there are six ways. So all together the arrangements, we're gonna use the multiplication principle to bring them all together. So there's two things happening. We have the one girl insisting to sit on the left. So the number of ways that she can sit on the left is two ways. And then the remaining three seats with three passengers is six ways. So it's the girl on the left 
and the remaining three passengers. So all we have to do is multiply those two guys out. So it's going to be the girl, the conditions with the girl, which is two ways, and the three remaining passengers. with the three seats, and that equals how many ways? Six ways. Six ways. Now remember we've got the word and there, that's the multiplication principle, so I'm just gonna put that in there, so I'm multiplication. So, the girl, the conditions where the girl sits on the left, that's going to be, that's two ways for her to do that, and multiply, three remaining passengers, three seats, there's six ways, so we just multiply them to around together and we'll get the total number of arrangements for this to occur. Two times six equals 12. Therefore, there are 12 number of ways. Let me write it here. 12 number of ways to create the arrangements whereby the girl sits on the left and the remaining three sit in the remaining three seats, three passengers, three seats. So there are 12 ways to organize that. So let me just put a box in that. 12 ways, 12 arrangements. Now what we want to do is part two, is work out the probability of this occurring. The probability. Now the probability, just very briefly, we'll have a pop-up come up here. Probability equals um, the favorable, favorable events all over the total number of events. Now we've worked out the favorable, that's 12 ways. There are 12 ways for us to get the arrangements we just asked for. Now, what are the total number of arrangements for four seats and four people, unrestricted, no conditions? Well, the way to do that simply is by using this method here, right over here, where we have how many seats do we have? We have four seats and there are four passengers and it's unrestricted. How many ways can we arrange them? Well, that's going to be, let me just put a little border here. That's going to be 4P4, so that's going to be on the top, 4 factorial, all over, 4 takeaway, 4 in brackets factorial, and that equals, this is unrestricted, 4 factorial, again we're over a 0 factorial, so that's going to cancel and be a 1 down below on the denominator. So we've got 4 factorial, that's going to be 4 times 3 times two times one, multiply that throughout. Four times three is 12, two 12s equals, there are 24 ways, unrestricted, 24 ways in total that four passengers can be arranged on four seats. So if that's the total number of ways, that's going to go as the denominator. So let me just put an arrow. That's down there. So that's the total number of ways that we can arrange four with four. Four seats, four passengers. But the way we decided, because we have a restriction, we came up with how many ways earlier? 12 ways. So to get the probability, the favorable number of ways is 12, and the total number of ways is 24. So let's just create the fraction now. Probability equals, probability, let me just create a bit of space here. Probability P equals the favorable, which is 12 ways, all over the total number of ways, which is 24. So the probability equals one on two. If you simplify 12 and 24, it's one on two, or you could write it out as 50%. So there's a 50% chance that this girl can sit on the left-hand side, on the port side of this speedboat, whilst the other three passengers have the other three seats. So altogether, the probability is one in two or 50%. Thanks for watching.